And I'm Anthony Austin. Our top story at five, an anti-Semitic message was projected on the 11 East Forsyth apartment building and on the outside of TIAA Bank Field Saturday night. A lot of people talking about this on social media. Several state and local leaders have condemned the messages and voiced support for the Jewish community. Now the message is hurtful, but is it a crime? On your side's Andrew Badillo is here now to verify. Several state and local leaders have condemned anti-Semitic messages that were projected on the outside of TIAA Bank Field in the 11 East Forsyth building. But was a crime committed? Let's verify. The question, was the anti-Semitic message broadcast on buildings in downtown Jacksonville this weekend a crime? Our sources are the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office and the State Attorney's Office. Here's what we learned. JSO says the messages do not break the law saying, quote, the comments displayed do not include any type of threat and are protected by the First Amendment, end quote. The state attorney's office backed it up, saying, quote, the U.S. Supreme Court has consistently held such speech, even despicable speech, is protected by the First Amendment. If this office is presented with evidence indicating an intent to directly incite imminent criminal activity or specifically threaten violence against a person or group, then criminal prosecution may be implicated, end quote. The Jacksonville Sheriff's Office says it will continue to monitor reports of anti-Semitism to see if they rise to a level of criminal nature. To wrap things up and answer our question, no, the anti-Semitic message broadcast on buildings in downtown Jacksonville does not break the law and is protected under the First Amendment. With your Verify, Andrew Badillo, First Coast News, on your side.